Hi, my name is Dustin Davis, and in this video I just wanted to show uh, you how to quickly set up your account in Inzolo. Before I do that, I just want to log into my bank account and uh, select the date that you want to start budgeting. For simplicity purposes, I'm just going to go back about a week. I'll start on the 23rd. And just write down your, bal your opening balance on the day before your opening date. So if I'm starting on the 23rd, I want to get the last balance on the 22nd. So I'll just write that information down. And then I want to download transactions. So I'll go back to the 23rd to today. And Zolo supports importing Microsoft Money or OFX format and also uh, Quicken format. But I'm going to select Microsoft Money or OFX as this has the most information and then click export save that file and then I'll come over to Inzolo and sign up now the first time that you sign up you might get this one time offer I'll be pulling that down soon but for this demo I'm just going to say no thanks. The first thing you need to do is set up your bank account. So you can select your bank account name here. I'm just going to leave it as generic bank. And the name of my account is checking. The opening balance is that amount that I wrote down. The opening balance on the 23rd which was 639378. And the date of that opening balance was the 23rd and click add bank account. Now you can add multiple accounts you can add uh, credit card accounts, savings account, but for now I'll just stick with checking and click my budget link. The first time you run this you'll see this envelope wizard where you can select from some common household uh, envelope categories. I'll just leave the defaults. I'll take off the debt envelopes and hit continue and you'll be taken to your budget screen. Um, I just want to import those transactions that I brought in. So this belongs to my checking account. I'll browse for that file I downloaded. And I want to this ignore previously deleted transactions. If you are, just go back 30 days on your transaction report and you've imported 15 days ago it remembers which ones you've imported and will ignore them so we'll just leave that at the default and click import transactions now you see a list of the transactions here um, if it has a box icon that means it's a deposit so we can either move that to unallocated income or just click the box itself says would you like to allocate this income now I'm gonna say no um, now the first time you come in you kinda of wanna work backwards and before assigning your unallocated income we'll just assign all of our transactions first so to assign a transaction you just uh, drag it to the icon you want so for this one um, if you click on the memo you can edit these quickly this is the dress that my wife bought so I'm gonna come down to the clothing and assign that transaction I'm just gonna pause the video while I assign some of these transactions okay I've assigned most of the transactions I've left a couple on here uh, just to show you some of the additional features that you might run into when you're assigning these transactions the first is let's say that you've gone somewhere and it could go it needs to be split into two categories you can simply click the split icon here and let's say a hundred dollars of this went into groceries and the other 56 let's say we bought a birthday gift for someone and then click split so now you'll notice in our grocery transactions we have this split transaction for a hundred dollars and you'll see the same thing in the gifts category 
and let's say you don't have an envelope category that kind of goes to add a new one just click this add envelope icon say the category is medical health uh, let's give it a name of Jim monthly goal we'll just say we pay sixteen ninety five per month for the gym uh, that's a fixed amount and we'll leave the icon yeah we'll just leave the default icon and say OK now if you come down you should see this new envelope you can sort that to wherever it makes most sense to you and we'll just assign that last one okay, now that I've got all my transactions assigned I want to allocate my unallocated income now if you're on an envelope you need to make sure that you don't have any selected or that you have the unallocated income selected before you click this button now quick way to do this like I said you were working backwards the first time we don't we didn't have any envelopes funded we just want to get our balance to zero so if you have any negative envelopes on this screen if you click them that'll automatically enter your amount here to set that to zero so I'm just gonna do that the first time through here and get my account to zero to balance to zero all my envelopes balance to zero and I'll allocate that fund okay now we're at zero um, our balance here five nine two four eight five should match our checking account balance five nine two four eight five okay so we're good you generally don't have to check but just as a security measure it does show your account balances if you have multiple account balance or accounts it'll show the balances at the bottom so that you can verify with your uh, with your online banking now you just want to go through your unallocated income and assign it to each category and <clears throat> if you want your first time you can set goals for each amount so let's say you know you generally spend about six hundred dollars on groceries if you click on that amount enter amount and hit enter it'll save that goal amount let's say you spend a thousand dollars on your mortgage you can go through and set goals for each of these amounts and if you want to enter those goal amounts you can simply simply click this button you notice that I've already I've already uh, funded a hundred dollars and that was on the split when I spent a hundred dollars I funded a hundred dollars to set that to zero so I have five hundred dollars remaining to meet that monthly goal amount for this item so if you go through each of these and set a goal or just go through and decide how much you want to spend um, in each of these items so let's say we have a thousand dollars in our emergency fund you'll notice as you change transactions the difference here will update um, and so you can just go through that and let me just allocate the rest of this amount once you get to zero then just click allocate funds and your budget amounts will be set um, I will try to do more videos to show you more features and tips and tricks each month. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.